Well, good morning, folks. It's Matt for Three Power Fishing, and we are on tournament day. We are on tournament day for the crappie masters on Kentucky Lake. And check this out. Everybody, no one gets to, I guess, experience the sunrises on these beautiful days uh, like tournament anglers do. But that right there, folks, is a big reason why we do this fishing thing, I guess. The sunrise is fantastic. And uh, you pumped? Oh. We're pumped. So it's early, it's 5.20, and uh, we're on our way to our first spot. We plan on staying in this cove the entire day. We're gonna wear it out and uh, do the best that we can do. So thanks for joining, please subscribe. We're gonna take you for a wild ride on Kentucky Lake, it's gonna be fun. Thanks. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies. That's right, folks. We're on Kentucky Lake, a lake that we don't know that well, but we have pre-fished. We have put in the time, like I will always say, on Kentucky Lake right here. We have done it all this week, and we are prepared for whatever happens. We've, we've prepped as hard as we can. We've had some great numbers every single day. Um, the fish are skinny because we're post-spawn, but we're going to put a ton of fish in this, this episode. That's a guarantee. Stay tuned. Please subscribe. Support 3-Pound Fishing. We're about to put some big fish in the boat. Woo. All right, folks, it's go time. We got basically 20 minutes. It's uh, we're the only one in our area, so we like that. <laughs> so it doesn't get you better than that. And uh, we've got probably up to 300 points marked in this cove for us to explore. So uh, we're going to find our fish. And uh, as we, we'll try to do more talking. Marcus is definitely going to be showing the fish. I'll be showing the fish so that you guys know what we're doing. We're going to be vertically dro dropping on all of these stake beds. That is the name of the game. They're roughly around 12 foot deep. And the water temperature right now is 68 degrees. Lines can hit the water at 6 a.m. We're fishing till 2 p.m. Let's get it on. Let's go. All right, folks, we found our first bogey. Small little stake bed, roughly around 10 foot down. Check it out. You can actually see it. We're gonna have a spot lock right. So he's right there. There he is right there. And uh, we're basically staying about 30 feet away from him right now and uh, that'll be our first drop of the day and uh, we'll go from there All right, folks, anytime before a tournament, the anxiety's up. At the beginning of a tournament, it's very stressful. We've put a full week in to pre-fish this lake to kind of figure out the spots that we feel are the hot spots. So we've decided that we're gonna dedicate ourselves to this particular cove. There's about three hot spots in this cove, and we are catching fish all week in this cove. And it's kind of weird is that we haven't seen any other competitors, which has been fantastic from our perspective anyway. So. We are planning on catching a lot of fish, no different than pre-fish, and we kind of have an idea where we're going to end up. We know that we have the ability to catch 10 pounds in this cove, and we have done it every day that we have been in it. So, and this is just another great fish here for Marcus. I mean, check it out when he shows it off, but I'll tell you, great day on Kentucky Lake. We feel confident on what we can get. We just don't know what the other competitors are doing themselves.
get the stick. You can take that from me. Oh, okay. There's gonna be a cast in there. <laughs> Your bait's working. Lighten it up. Yes, sir. Scattered, but still on structure. <laughs> Big fish. Heck yeah. Perfect that was bird. awesome. I'm going to go ahead and measure, weigh this one and cold yeah, up. Show that up. Oh, yeah. That's a hammer right there. That's a Kentucky hammer. Hell yeah. Bam. That I'm was talking good about stuff right there. He just touched it. He just barely touched it. Folks, that matches our big fish of the of the week. That's a great start for me and Marcus. We're excited. It is only it is only seven o'clock, and we've already got our seven fish. Well, we've had more than seven, plus seven. We've got eight fish now. Well, we always take one extra fish in case one of them dies. But um, that's a solid fish right there, Kentucky crappie. Now we're doing is vertical jigging. I'm using a form of the carrot, the smaller form, got that braid line on, which is awesome. I really do believe that's going to become the future for crappie fishing, this braid line. So, And uh, an Ozark rod, 12-footer is what I'm using right now. So a 12-footer is, is getting the job done. Marcus is casting with a 10-footer, uh, and I'm just vertical jigging and a little bit of casting. We're, we're casting and vertical jigging with both these rods. I mean, but... Great start. Hell of a fish, man. Thanks. So during our pre-fish, we were very consistent. There was no, I mean, blip in the screen. Every day we walked away, we knew kind of what we were doing. So we were very confident. And we had two coves picked out. We decided to go with this cove because we had spent the entire day there marking the cove. We had a, a just, like I said, 300 marks in this cove, probably way north of that actually. But we spent a whole day marking it. That's the thing what you do at Kentucky Lake is you mark a ton of, a, a ton of structure. And it was a tough bite. I'll say it was a tough bite, but at the end of the day, there was always a fish every four or five structures. And we had fixed, you know, we have pretty much picked out three hot All spots right, in the actual code. Camera failure there. Um, it is 8.30 and we've got our seven fish easily. We've had way more than seven fish. In fact, we've, we're at a, we're culling anything less than, our lowest fish, I'm sorry, is a pound. So that's kind of an update. 8.30, we fished till two o'clock. Having a great start. You missed a lot of footage because the camera died and we finally found another charger. We do have another uh, camera on board here. I'll share it with you here. Check it out. It's the Marcus cam. That is actually the Crappie Masters camera. And uh, they, because they wanted Marcus on there, they put that sucker right there. So uh, anyway, it's a interesting deal. Their camera's not working right now for some reason. We're gonna work on it here in a short little bit. But uh, it was working all this morning. So, I'm fishing with the 12-footer Ozark Rod, 3-pound fishing Elite Series. Marcus is actually playing with one of the older gray rods, a 10-footer. He loves it. Uh, he just likes, he's a good caster with it, uh, any 10-footer for that matter. Uh, braid, I think it's the, I'm a big believer in braid. Marcus has become a big believer too, but we didn't have any extra for this trip, so he's using what he's comfortable, what he's known. But he'll be switching over the braid, I'm sure, here shortly. Uh, Hair jigs, primarily. I'm using a hair jig. Marcus is using a paddle tail. Uh, Carrot has been on fire, and so has his paddle tail. So it's been a fantastic uh, start for us. And uh, we're just passing our marks left and right here. Interesting enough, folks, I did have some uh, trolling motor issues actually not trolling motor issues battery issues with the lithium batteries and come to find out it really wasn't the the lithium batteries it was the the bank charger that i had in so if you bring up i'll bring the uh, picture of the episode and put a link up here above when i w talked about the trolling motor batteries um, i installed a noco genius uh, bank charger and bank number two failed me one evening 
and we came out here and we struggled with batteries and luckily I had some extra batteries in the boat and we were able to survive that day and, and actually fish for that pre-fish day but lesson learned to always check your bank chargers and make sure everything is working you you know obviously looking for those lights and green lights in that case I won't say it was hardship we didn't lose a lot of time but at the same time it's frustrating but we're working yeah we put the time in it don't matter we put the time in we go you gotta you're gonna have issues one thing you learn out here for for sure is you're gonna have issues not just my boat talking to the guys last night people talk about it all the time goofy stuff that happens all right i want to talk about a couple things but first off we have the camera boat from crappie masters following us at this point and i tell you what that's a little nerve-wracking that's a little different uh puts a little pressure on you you want to provide some content for them so we're looking for a fish for quite a while it's kind of funny how it dries up when they're there but at the end of the day we do put a big fish in the boat in this little segment here so wait till the end you're gonna see it but let me tell you we put the time in very important we spend a lot of time we don't just spend the time on the lake but when we get back to our place that we're staying at we're talking about it we're discussing maps we're looking at things these are things that a lot of the guys do that are actually on the trails but don't think for a second that you can sit back relax go back home have a drink and go to sleep early and uh things are just going to ring out we work extremely hard whether it's a local event or a national event and me and Marcus joke about it all the time. This is like work because at the end of the day, you do. You take it very seriously. Now it's fishing. I get it. And we're having a fun time. We are. But we work hard and we want to make sure that we're successful. So trust me, when we're at these events and every day that's leading up to it, we put the time in. So when you talk to your partner, make sure that they understand that's the expectation or if that's what you want. Here's a big fish going in the boat. Got him. Big fish. Woo! Hell yeah. That's a good one. That's a good one. Man, that's fun. Good job. He keeps going up and looking at it. Yeah, he nosed it. Well, that was probably the third one we had do it. Uh, he was on a log, but. They're real curious right now here, and he took it, he touched it, he breathed on it. It was not a tick or a thump. It was like a, just barely breathed on it. 130. Yeah, 1.3. That's, our low fish right now is a pound, so that's a, that's a good upgrade. So we were very grateful that Crappie Masters wanted to do a film, you know, filming us during the, the, uh, the event and uh, we appreciate that it was it was definitely more pressure I can tell you that um, but when they left let me tell you we continued to put fish in the boat we kept upping our game and we were like man we're gonna have a decent number here on this first day at least for us we felt we were doing okay for ourselves wow he's gonna take out number seven a one four five that's a one four five we, we just caught a one four five Unfortunately, I didn't have the cameras on. Shallow water, seven foot. He was sitting still. Tell me that fish. Bam. Good fish. That's a lot of fun. I couldn't, I wasn't putting it in the boat with my jig. So Marcus was back there working on his pole. And I said, get up here and throw the gum drop. And uh, he did. And bam, it moved on it. And that was awesome. We threw three baits at it total we did a paddle tail my carrot and then his uh the gumdrop again those are just baits that i make i sell them on my website three pound fishing check them out man a lot of fun that's great fish you want them in the live well this day? got another one One point two. That's an upgrade, brother. Tell them I'm back there. Woohoo! An upgrade in the last hour. And another mark. 
And another mark. True that. 1.3. One, nice. Well, 1.3? 1 1.3. 1 wow, that's fantastic. That's a good upgrade. That four. All right, we're done fishing. We are at the uh, weigh-in, and uh, we're going to take you through that whole experience. Marcus is about to pull some of the fish and uh, see where we're at. All right, fish number one, two, three, four. So how do you think we did, Marcus? All right, folks, when we get to this point in a tournament, this is how I look at it. If I've given 110%, if three pound fishing has given 110%, and me and Marcus talk about it all the time, we will do everything we can to give 110%. Then the result, well, it doesn't necessarily matter. All I know is we've given it our all, and that is the most important thing. So Seven here's our result. Fish coming up, still looking for that 975 to take the lead. We'll see if I get her right here. If you're not following this guy, three pound fishing, you should be. Let's see if they can do it. Representing Ozark Rise, Matt Maviano, Marcus Garretson. Hey, Matt, how you doing? Good, how are you? Oh, hey, hey, look out. 975 takes the lead. They did it. Broke that double digit. 10. 30, Matt Maviano, Marcus Garrison in the lead. How about that, guys? You got a good one? Right there. I'll trade you. You take this one, I'll take this one. All right. Bunch of them like that. 149, 149. All right, guys. Let me get the bag here. Well, there you go. Day one. Everybody was wondering if somebody's going to get to 10 pounds. <laughs> you did it. Now, here's the question of the day. Can you do it again? Well, you know, all week we've kind of, we've been on fish. We felt really comfortable. Um, it's interesting hearing everybody else talk. It's, it's definitely a different vibe that we've got going on. We've been, go, we've been saying to each other every day, just go out there and fish, have fun. Right. That's what we've been doing. And, uh, but we've been catching the same fish all week. So, yeah, we, we've got some spots that we think we can do something similar tomorrow. I'll tell you what, that, you know, and that's been the problem everybody's talked about. You know, if you find big fish, get hard to bite. Or are your fish spooky at all? Or are you, have you found something different that maybe obviously somebody else hasn't found? But are you in an area that, like I said, you can catch big fish? Can you even go up higher with those fish? Well, I mean, obviously, as the day went on, we, we found that the bite was a little tougher. Sometimes we might have to drop it on three times or drop on it three times or whatever with different baits. But at the end of the day, our... Uh, our fishing has been very consistent. Uh, we've got definitely multiple areas. We couldn't fish some of those areas today because of the wind, but um, all week it's been the same story. Go out, have fun, just fish. Hey, tell you what, sometimes that's all it takes to win $10,000, you know that's, it? That's right. That's all right, right. we'll you. see what happens after this is over. There you go, let's give them a hand. Brand new leaders. All right, there's the number to shoot for now. Oh, after day one, we are in second place. We're totally stoked. Hopefully we can sleep tonight, but at the end of the day, we are in the running for our first trophy, and we're very excited. So stick with me. Next episode coming up is going to be the final day of the Crappie Masters on Kentucky Lake. Please subscribe, ring that bell, three-pound fishing, baby. Thanks for watching 3 Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies.